I mean, today was a transformative yeah. event. It, it really is was. It really that was. That is going to set a, a lot of things in motion, as well as set kind of a standard, mm -hmm. you know, between Musk and Trump, and now DeSantis, and now this woman Carrie Lake. Yep. There is a level of specificity in the language, and the way that they deliver it that is just it's extremely persuasive. These yeah. people have a, whether they have studied it or it's just a natural part of their, their personality, there's a persuasive element that has just rushed in. And what's kind of interesting is it seems like it's just kind of like we've put the cake in the oven and on November 8th, it comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it's really the energy feels that, that, that there's, this was a, a, uh, a minor seismic shift, but a seismic shift nonetheless. Well, and and these people are having their meltdown, and at the same time, he's saying, "Hey, we're going to put together a council of people that are are broad spectrum of people from all mm -hmm. different walks of life, and we will look at content and we will come up with this is the content that will be blocked because it's a outright offensive. You know, you know, you can't well, it just has to be." At a minimum, it has to be legal. Yeah. If it's yeah. any kind of yeah. illegal uh, commentary or threats or anything like that, it, that's, that is covered by free speech and that you can say it, but that's where the consequence thing comes in. And, right. and, and you know what's interesting is that the people that are all upset that are, you know, the Twitter nuts, uh, the Twitter twats, if you will. Um, yeah. Those those are have been you know complaining about this and you know the uh, the media the pundits the you know all of the people that are pushing all this political crap are talking about these dire consequences and yeah. about and it, they all they seem to be at least implying that at a minimum they may get canceled or banned right yep. when in reality that's not what they need to worry about we want them on there people. Yeah. Who, we, we want you to say the things that you say. What they're really afraid of is now they'll be challenged. Yes. Whereas before yes. they won't. They won't. Well, and they'll have before. to hear or they'll have the, the, the chance of seeing opinions they don't agree with. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's where this, this whole thing that I've been talking about in this knowledge transfer, people are now going to be able to be engaged like they should have been in a, in a, global uh, public square well which an is actual dialogue there is as yeah it would, and that's what elon calls it it's this it's a public square and it needs to be managed but it doesn't need to be controlled and the people will it's like capitalism things that work in the market work out or <laughs> don't work out because of what the market yep. does with acceptance right that's it so when you are now in a place where your product, which is one of the other things they keep going on about, they're, they're trying to sell a product that nobody wants. And the only way they can mm -hmm. sell it is to force it and, or make it the only option that you have. Well, that's not the way that humans function, let alone, you know, this capitalism that we're in. But now there is an alternative to the product that they've been selling. And that will be made not only available to everyone else, but to the people who've only got one shitty product to sell. Um, Beth right. Kirkham is asking, uh, I've been on Twitter for years. What's going to be new? Well, you'll see more of us. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see more Elon Musk. Um, <laughs> There's going to um, be here, a lot. Uh, here's, a, here's a good entry to that discussion. Uh, be ben, Shapiro, ben Shapiro just said, every time Twitter lets the clamps off, my follower count spikes. Today, by over forty thousand people in just a few hours. That's not a coincidence. Yeah, and one of the things that's uh, that I think is fascinating, and it, again, going back to the the narrative that they're trying to push down everybody's throats, some of the uh, challenges have been uh, statements like, "Well," or questions of, "Well, he must not be a very good businessman. He just spent forty four billion for a company that makes nothing." Yeah, because their their balance sheet is has been crap, right? They don't yep. they don't make money, right? And right. and they seem to have completely missed Musk's own <clears throat> statement that I didn't buy this for a business. I that I didn't buy it for money. the money. 
Okay. So that's not, so forget sure. about that as a business thing. But what's interesting is that, you know, the advertisers are going to sit back and take a pause, see how much shit they get for, you know, from the, the small class of the noisiest whiny folks that create all the chaos and the angst. Okay. They're, they are, they are small. And I, been saying this too it's this this noisy small group and they're yeah. going to be exposed very quickly because they're not going to be able to handle all of the truth bombs and the challenges whether there's truth in the challenges or not but that the, the mm -hmm. simple act of being challenged and being having to be able to shall we say vet your ideas and do it publicly support them with with enough logic and reason that it that it becomes a, a sellable product that people will consume. But In a, uh, I've got an article here uh, from the AV Club. I have no idea what their political slant is, but. In a lengthy notes app statement, Elon Musk asserts he bought Twitter to help humanity, and he assures followers he didn't buy Twitter to make more money, and definitely did the whole thing out of humility. Well, it's official. Elon Musk owns Twitter. And he's being predict predictably obnoxious about it. Uh, so you can tell, you can already tell the slant of this uh, this organization. It'll be uh, interesting. According to a new lengthy notes app statement from the world's richest man, Musk didn't purchase Twitter to acquire more wealth or a more secure playground for complaining about the rings of power. And the way he tells it, Musk's intention is buying Twitter is actually to help humanity. In the statement, Musk details in further depth the reasoning behind his acquisition of Twitter. The statement finds Musk's standard self-important tone leaning less toward teenage troll and more toward condescendingly benevolent overlord. Jesus. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was a, uh, a not only mental gymnastics, but a word salad. Yeah. And here's, yeah. here's <laughs> Musk's own words. What he said, he says, the reason I acquired Twitter is is because it's important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. I didn't do it because I would. it would be easy. I didn't do it to make more money. I did it to try to help humanity whom I love. And I do so with humility, recognizing that failure in pursuing this goal, despite our best efforts, is a very real possibility. Mark my words. He's going to tie this into Starlink and make it a town square for sure. the whole planet so that Iranians can speak their truth, the Chinese can speak their yep. truth, the Taiwanese can speak their truth, and everybody can, and the governments won't be able to squelch it. Yes. Because like I've said before, if the people can talk to each other, they're not going to buy the bullshit that their governments are spreading that this these people in this country are bad or whatever. I think you're absolutely right. And remember the um, <clears throat> one of my rants about technology and the blockchain and, and all of that and how your identity mm -hmm. and sovereignty mm -hmm. of that identity is what's coming next. Yep. yep. And the tokenization of everything, everything will be tokenized. And then whether it's tied to a crypto or not depends on the type of token. But everything you do, all the events, transactions, your identity and all, everything will be tokenized. Yep. There's the whole, the, the big confusion and, and buzz and muck in the tech world is all about AI mm -hmm. and about how artificial intelligence is making such profound advances to the point where, and, and I'll send you some links, Scotty, to, for you to yeah. see if you haven't, to the point where artificial intelligent created art is winning art fairs. I've yeah. seen that. I've seen okay. that. So, and then there's the whole idea of the digital assistant and how they actually, you actually interact with them. Mm -hmm. One thing they seem to haven't been able to crack it is humor, but they've got sarcasm down. You can already hear that through your Alexa. AI's and got your sarcasm theory, down. Right? <laughs> they got that down. But but my point is this. Musk, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Twitter morph into this fully digital integrated platform where it's not a blue check. You are blockchained. Your, mm -hmm. your ID and your sovereignty of self <laughs> will be digitized and validated. He he's yeah, he and here's the so it, the example is is this. 
Tesla, his electric car company, mm -hmm. is not about cars. It's a power company. Yeah. yeah. Cars are just the first expression of using of the toy that changing. you can use it with. Right. So I think Twitter, and it may change into a different name because when you think about a complete digital platform that enables the communication, you're going to be able to buy things on it. It'll have its own commerce capabilities and system. Mm -hmm. So don't be surprised if Musk pulls this out and morphs it into the next generation. And of I don't care. I don't care. And the other thing that's going to happen with it, once he gets his, his base on Mars and they start doing that, he will have relay stations between here and Mars, and you will be able to use that as a platform to chat with your relatives on Mars and vice versa. Exactly. So you're not cut off from them. Exactly. So I, mean, so I think this is this is much his thing for humanity. That's what he means. He means being able to take and provide give people the control over their sovereignty, over their ID through taking this platform that is an initial this town square what is when you go to a town square what do you do when you go to a festival you barter yep. somebody's yep. got something to sell and you want to buy well it. here's and, and here's the whole thing in answering beth kirkham's question very simply um twitter one of the big three uh was one of those that had such a deeply embedded ingrained um system of uh of fact checking, quote unquote, that uh, but they also had a bias that they were supporting, and so there were many people like Ben Shapiro, which uh, uh, Beth, mm -hmm. you said you like Ben Shapiro. Uh, ben Shapiro, uh, he would be. There were algorithms written for somebody that expressed things that were against the agenda or the narrative that Twitter wanted out there, which was more to the left, more liberal. Uh, those people would be sunk down in the algorithms and they would lose their followership. And it's like Ben Shapiro said, and today in just a few hours, I gained 40,000 listeners. 